Hello YouTube, how you doing? Uh, happy Easter for all of you that celebrate Easter, or eggs, or chocolate eggs, or Jeebus, whatever. Um, I'm making this on my phone, so I'm just going to put that there and hopefully I'm in the shot, because otherwise it's just a cat looking out a window. Um, so yeah, yesterday I was having a very frustrated day uh, for many reasons. Um, and I made a clip and it um, didn't work. Like it was all there, I previewed it and because I make it straight up, like, like straight to YouTube usually. And then push pre, um, watch the processing thing and it was like doing processing, processing. And no, nah, it never really got there. It just kept processing for a good hour. Um, and why else? Yeah, so that frustrated me and I'm frustrated now because I'm quite itchy. And I don't really have a lot to talk about. I'm just uh, bored. <laughs> it's been 11 days since... Oh, because I'm post-op. I'm just sitting around, pretty much. Oh, I've been doing a little bit of stuff in this last couple of days because I'm just going insane. But, yeah, I'm just pretty much... So this, this um, vlog is not a very good planned vlog. It's uh, going to be more random than ever, possibly. Can you see both cats now? Two cat bums. They're um for adoption. If anyone not up for their their um they are looking for homes. If you're interested, this one is Ginger. The Ginger one. I call him Chuck Norris. This one is a pretty boy cat. And they both love cuddles. And there's a little black one somewhere too. And she's very cute. Anyway, if you want to adopt them, see what I mean. It's gonna be a ramble video. Um, yeah, so I'm 11 days post-op. I'm still wearing this goddamn thing, right? Um, and this time, I've noticed I'm very, very itchy. I don't know if that's because last time I wasn't as hairy. Um, and it's also hotter this time. Last, because uh, it's about a year. I'm just over a year post-op from my first uh, chest surgery. This one's a revision, if you haven't seen any of my other vlogs. Um, yeah, so... It seems to be hotter, even though it's around the same time of year. That does happen with global warming and all. But, uh, yeah, so I think that has a lot to do with the itching and my hair, the way they've shaved, it's growing back because I itch here a lot. But I was also itching, God, I hope this is all in shot, actually. Um, yeah, so I was itching, I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, let me sort of here. Can you see how much this stuff has left behind because it's this bandage stuff and it's like all stuck and cruel is this cruel or what like i've hairy and they've stuck it down so that's just pain anyway so i was itching so much um that i i just took off the strip here that obviously the adhesive it oh here's the black cat huh. um for adoption please Contact me. Um, yeah, so I ripped it off because I was just going insane with itching and my parents, I was at Easter with my parents, and I said just put some powder on it to try and settle the itching down and stuff and stop getting stuck to everything, which I did. And um, and it did help a lot. I don't itch here anymore. I itch everywhere else. <laughs> um, and But being that I did that, that leaves this because this was like sort of all, I don't know, that was all like taped up so it wasn't so open and out anyway because you drain you gotta be careful see this gets caught on everything because so as you imagine this gets caught but this this you've got to be careful like it gets caught on tables chairs animals small children it will get caught on everything actually funny story ow kittens like to play with it um <laughs> i was um at sizzlers last night don't judge me um and i have been doing I've got this tricky thing where I put my drain in a bag and just wear the bag the backpack and you can hardly even tell that I'm drained up you know and um anyway so I was at Sizzlers last night and I had my bag sitting next to me and I totally forgot about it so I did one of those like comical like I was walking buying and got pulled back it was amusing for those at the table with me um Anyone else wouldn't have really understood what the hell, but that does happen. Anyway, yes, yeah, so what happened was, um, <laughs> moving back to the story I was actually telling, this, um, within minutes of me taking this bit off,
got caught on something and pulled, yanked, and I made, I made this face. That's pretty much how it went. Um, because it felt like I either, I don't know how it exactly looks, I think it's like in through the skin, the drain, and then they stitch it up, so I don't know if I pulled the drain, not all the way out, but out a bit more, or um, pulled a stitch a bit, oh, I don't know, whoops. And um, Dr. Bart did tell me he watched my last um, vlog, so he might go mad at me if he watches this one. But anyway, sorry, Dr. Bart, I'll amuse. Yeah, so that's that's that little story. Did I tell you he's all to shave? I think I did. I haven't got my brain back. That's still missing in action, unfortunately. I'm looking forward to the day it comes back. Um, what else? It's not as fun second time round, I think, because I've had it done before. And Have I said that already? Um, why have I been frustrated? This is why. Because I've been house-sitting, as you may or may not know, for the last six weeks. And they, um, I have mould in some of my walls and I've been complaining about it for a very long time, a couple of years. And they finally decided that they would get it done and I told them I was house-sitting for six weeks or they had about four weeks notice because I'd already been for two weeks, obviously. Um, and they decided to do it last Monday, the day of my surgery. And they were supposed to, well, when I first rang up, they said they'd have it done by, um, um, in a couple of days. But then I rang up again just to find out exactly what rooms they were sorting out so that I could help them out take some pictures off walls and, you know, th move things away so it was easier for them. And he told me it was a couple of weeks. So finally when I can, because I'm a homebody, I love my own space. I love, I'm a creature of, like... Um, comfort and um, of like not repetition what's it called like I've got my you know what I'm saying you just I don't have the words so just fill in that word here um, and now I can't even be at home like they messed it up like it was so messy my bedroom had dust all over it and I can't be recovering in a in like nah so anyway um, yeah, I stayed there the last two nights, like tonight I didn't, I stayed at Rachel's place, um, and, but the last two nights before that I stayed at home, but it was just, it's just feral, it's just disgusting, it's not okay. So I'm a little bit frustrated about that, more than a little bit frustrated, yeah. Anyway, um, what else can we talk about? I don't really know, see what I mean, I don't have a lot to say, I just want to fill in some time of my very long days until, you know, I go get my drains out and can move around like a normal person. Um, I did shave, I don't know if you noticed, I shaved all my facial hair off, but I don't know if you can notice. It's funny, like, you never, we all show our facial hair and half the time you can't ever see it, but we still do it. And we watch others' videos and we know you can't see it, but we still do it. But anyway, so I shaved off my mo that took me so long to grow and I am morning mo, morning my mo. I'm having mo morning, mo morning, mo morning. And, um, and I haven't shaved for seven days, eight days now and just wanted to see what, well, I can't. Well, I could probably shave, but um, I couldn't in the beginning to lift my arm. So let's just see if we can see. I've got beard happening, but only under there and a little bit there and no, no mo, no mo. Slow mo. Yeah, so that's exciting for some, not others. Me. Um, but I wish I had a beard. It's been over a year now, a year and a half, maybe even. Probably has been a year and a half on tea, so I should have a little bit more, but you know, it'll come. I know it will. Um, what else? What else? That's it. That is it. I'm going to get some DVDs today more. I do the Cheap Tuesday thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, normally I can ramble on, but I kind of haven't got much, have I? See, because the other one I rambled on, geez, the one that didn't work, I did ramble on, like rambled on. But, um, it, it was much better rambling. It didn't have breaks of not knowing what to say. Uh, I did, <laughs> I do do this. I don't know if it'll work now, because, you know, things don't ever work when you want them to. Whoa, that was too much of a close-up. So, um, I... Because my drain follows me everywhere, I kind of just like do a, a drain drag when I'm on carpet. Nah, it's not going to work. Sometimes I do it. Oh, yeah. And the cats, the cats, they chase. 
I don't know why I'm susceptible, suspecting, sus why I'm putting, ah, why I'm putting you all through this, but I am. So I'm going to stop this video now before you all tune out forever and never watch again. And, um, wish you all well. And thank you to the new subs. I think I deleted a heap of emails. I usually like to say thank you for your subs, um, when you subscribe and, um, yeah, I, I deleted a heap, so I thank you if you <laughs> put yourself through the um, pain of watching a Jackson Chili um, vlog. You know, I can't say vlog normally. I always have to make that like funny vlog or vlog. You can check it out. I always say it funny. Um, all right, that is all. Signing out. Um, I guess I'll see you again in a few days just to show you how my chest is looking. Uh, although I'll have the tape on. Well, we'll see. Um, but yes, Dr. Hugh Bartholomew's at Ipswich Day Hospital did mine uh, surgery. But I think I said that in all in another one. That is all. Take care. Peace out.